Hello, Broadway.com. What's up? Welcome to the program. Mike Wartella here. Welcome to the very first episode of the vlog. Glad you tuned in. So let me tell you a little bit about what's going to happen on this very first episode. Um, I'm going to take you behind the scenes at all the stuff that's happening here at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on Broadway at the Lund Fontaine. We are going to interview some friends of mine. We're going to have an interview every week where we spotlight the golden ticket winners and we're going to really get in depth with each one of them. So we'll have a special guest this week. We're going to go up to Ben Crawford's dressing room and we're going to do the tiniest wig on Broadway. Do you guys know about this? You guys know he does this? You follow him, in, I follow him on Instagram? It's amazing. He does this thing. So, you, so we'll check that out. What else? Ah, very special. I'm going to give you a tour of the outside of the theater, the exterior because there's a lot of eccentricities going on out there. There's a lot of fun stuff. And I don't know if you've walked by ever, or if you're not able to walk by, don't worry. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Then there's gonna be time for shenanigans. We're gonna have play time. Don't worry, guys. We play a lot back here. It's gonna be fun. Um, actually, that is really one of the, the best parts of getting to do what we do is that it's just a nonstop party backstage and we always have fun with each other and you're gonna get to see a behind the scenes look at what really happens. So that'll be great. And then what else? Oh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the uh, deliver challenge. You know about this? Yeah, Jennifer Hudson. She's doing this thing on Instagram. So I found someone to uh, start the deliver challenge, and you'll get to meet a bunch of people backstage at the show. So come along the journey with me, and enjoy. Hey guys. So I feel a little bit like a tourist in Times Square right now, but I thought uh, I thought you should see. If you haven't already, I thought you should see this air conditioner. This air conditioner. No, I thought you should see the theater because it's pretty wild from the outside. So I wanted to kind of give you a little outdoor tour of the theater. Right? Okay, great. Here we go. All right, so here it is. When you first arrive, you have to sign the contract. Hello, tourist people. And the contract is big. It goes all the way down to the bottom. You gotta sign it, or else you won't be let in. Look at that, Christian Borrell, I've heard of him. He's back. He's back. He never left. I don't know what they're talking about. All the golden ticket winner holders. They gotta hang, they gotta check in here. Caution. Hot chocolate. Caution. Hot chocolate. So this was something fun that they told me that apparently the pipes on the outside of this factory factory that I'm about to show you are actually, uh, they spell out Wonka. So we're gonna check that out, ready? So first up here, we have the D-Juicer Supply Line. What flavors? Blueberry, boysenberry, cranberry. Delicious, schnozberry, of course. And over here we got the button. Do not push it, just do not push it. You pushed it. Okay, more pipes. Check it out. So look, see what's on top of That's a K. Get it? K. A. Exclamation point. K. Now moving backwards, what is this? This is an N. This of course would be an O. Look, there's Christian. This kitty. It's a neat. And that's the W's. So we got the W's, O, N, K, A. That spells Wonka. Oh my goodness. Wonka. Guess what that is right there? See that window right there? That's Christian's dressing room. Right there. Maybe if we look in long enough, he'll show up with his bald head hanging out. Let's see who's in my dressing room. Usually there's a lot of fun people. Well, I F, there's a, out. hey guys. Hey. I didn't expect to see you here at all. Oh, uh, oh, uh, hey. Oh, Did you say something naughty again? Do I have no, to no, 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 no. I was oh, just good. talking about my friend, Patrick Bernadette LePone. Who? Great. What? Oh, yeah. Who's oh. this? No, oh, this is Broadway.com. Say hello hey, to Broadway. Hey, Broadway. Hi, Broadway. <laughs> hey, Broadway. This is what okay. we do all the time, you guys. We just hang out in here. And we twerk. Okay. Our muscles and twerk. Involved. And twerk. And uh. work. And twerk. And work. And twerk. And work. And talking, and working, and working. I don't know if that's family friendly, Tristan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of dancing for both of you as walking in straight lines. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh! Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 
Cut and print. <laughs> It's Michael again. Michael's back. Really? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just be natural. Be natural. Act candid. Act natural. This is, yeah, this is good. That's a good natural face, Ben. That's really natural. That's good. That's so good, Ben. Oh, he's getting glued in. Kathy, you look great. Oh, no, no, it's probably. Okay, so for those of you guys who want to do this deliver thing, I see it's taking a life of its own. Oh, so I'm going to give is? you the example of the deliver, her. and then you send me back your deliver. <clears throat> this first thing in the morning. Deliver! Deliver! Hold on. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Give me your deliver challenge. All right, I'm gonna try to get my kids to do this too. You got it. Oh. All right, you go first, Emma. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna blow my voice out. You got it. Drink some water. This is, I'm already <laughs> sweating, I'm sweating. <clears throat> deliver, deliver. Stop! Oh my god, that's insane. Uh, can I get more of a belt, please? I got no belt up there. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> my belt don't go that high. Oh. <laughs> okay, Elliot just did his first number as a goose dish. We're gonna see how he feels. Hope he enjoyed it. Hope he enjoyed it. How did it feel? Woo! How did it feel, Bobo? Good. Oh, you look so good out there, bro. Thanks. I blacked out, but it's fun. <laughs> I blacked out. <laughs> Yay! They love it. Oh, swing team so loves amazing. it. Thank you. So yeah, that was fantastic. It was fun. You nailed it. Thank yes, you. Broadway. Yes. Hello, Broadway. <laughs> Elliot. How do you feel? How'd it go for you? Feels great, you know? Mm -hmm. My stomach's starting to drop back in. Mm -hmm. It's place. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, Clearly. Yeah, it's really, really, it's nice and good, yeah. We're all very, very impressed. And yet, not surprised. You're a true Stop. talent. Stop. <laughs> Love it. Good work. <laughs> We're here with Broadway's Ben Crawford. Oh! Who shares a dressing room with Broadway's Alan H. Green. <laughs> oh, and it's time for the show to start, which will be fun. Hi guys, Ben Crawford here. Represent. <laughs> Just uh, thanks for doing this, buddy. Thanks for uh, thanks for sitting down and talking. It's my pleasure, Mike. I thought we'd uh, thought we. I thought this was good because now the fans get a little in-depth look at the people. This is what goes on people. while everyone else is working oh, on stage. Oh, 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 oh. Alan H. Green, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's true, actually, we have so much time off stage. That we, we do. The show's very compartmentalized. It's like you're either on stage or you're off. Yeah. It's really unless you're Christian, then you're always on stage. Unless you're Christian, Grandpa Joe, or Charlie. That's true. You have you have some off time. Oh my god. Yeah. So tell us about yourself, Ben Crawford. Where did you, where did you grow up? Where did you come from? Uh, I grew up in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, born and raised there. And then I went to college at University of Arizona. I just went across town. I moved across town and went to University of Arizona. And originally it was gonna be a doctor. Really? I was. I was pre-med for a year. And uh, I was I was enjoying it, but I wasn't like in love with it. And then um, kind of fell into theater. Um, did you do any theater in like high school or college? Or I school? did. I didn't really do a lot of theater growing up, but I did in high school. I did um, Anything Goes my oh, junior year. We don't actually need to know the specifics. Oh yeah, I did, I did theater. Before. Great. <laughs> this is my last question. Is wait wait. Um, what's your favorite part of the show? Not necessarily your favorite thing to do, 
what would you say to be a part of, to see, to be in, what's your favorite thing about this show? About this show? I mean, the second act is all very fun. Um, just kind of reacting to the zaniness that Christian brings. Or not reacting sometimes, it's right, so funny. Like I've, I've bitten my lip very hard a couple times. I would say those uh, the sound effect corridors are, are pretty fun every night. Um, yeah, my TV gets slammed and bammed and jam cram and cram. You have to do it too. It's yeah, true. but it's just, it's just very, you know, and I think one of the great things about how uh, silly our show is, that, and, and everyone is such a professional silly person, that there's so many opportunities in the second act just to kind of be those silly people that we all are. It is are. bizarre, you're right, second act we kind of hijack all the gold ticket. Yeah, I mean, like that's what I, you know, like we talk about like the show being so compartmentalized, right. it's like we have to figure out, we have to show the audience how Charlie gets to the factory. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, it's like the second act is is a little bit more like a play in a sense. It is. It's you know, first characters. act is very musical, yeah, second act is, second act just kind of cooks a yeah. little bit in a different way. Yeah. Totally right. Yeah. Well, it's been great talking with you, Broadway's Ben Crawford. Thank you, Mike. One of these days, maybe I'll talk to Broadway's Alan H. Green. Oh! So there you have it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good time. Uh, give me your comments on Twitter. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to do. And uh, tune in. We got eight more weeks of this. So come along on the journey. We'll see you.